Howdy. I was climbing up some magical mountain in Sedona yesterday. It's beautiful. You should go there if you haven't been. Especially if you've been in a city a lot recently. You should get out of the city. You know, go somewhere pretty. It's very nice. Sedona is probably way cooler than uh, the places you have available to you. But, you know, you can find like a stream or something. Streams are amazing. We didn't actually go to a stream. Dubowskis! Dubowskis! Dude, there's a person running called Dubowskis? I think I'm gonna run for office. I need to run for office in Arizona. Dubowskis. I already, already gonna get some support. They're gonna think, were they talking about Dubowskis? They're like, yeah, I'll just write him in. Dubowskis! He's all over the place. I like your style, Dubowskis. I don't know who he is. Like the name. Probably agree with everything he says. Or her. Um, yeah. I don't really have a lot of opinions. This is so funny. I was just watching Norm MacDonald's stand-up special. And I was been thinking about how I don't really have strong opinions. You know, so I'll look at a meme. And I'm like, oh, that's offensive. And I'm like, why is it offensive? And then you, you know, I don't really get offended. But, you know, I'm like, that's offensive. That would offend people who think this. Like, eh. But being offended is probably good. Yeah. You know, I mean, unless you shut down and go, la, 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 like you're taught to. Like we're taught to. Most people are taught to do that. La, 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 don't listen to ideas because they're infectious. Not really. You can't be infected by an idea unless you really, really believe in it and love it. That's kind of a pretty important factor, I think. Like if all the people had this one idea, this idea of freedom that we have over here in America, this culture of freedom that everybody's appropriated. Everyone is allowed to speak and everyone has human rights. You know, but now you hear the people at the top of certain like political parties, I don't know. They're like, uh, like uh, human rights was, it's an old thing. It's gone now. People don't really have souls. There's no souls, you can't prove it. What are you then? What are you? Do you not experience the universe like I do? Do you not have a soul? I have a soul? If you don't think that people have souls, you don't have a soul? Maybe? That's a hard way to look at it. I don't think that's real. But it's like they want you to think that. Because, you know, the simulation theory we're talking about. Maybe this is all a simulation made by some advanced species. Or us in the past for us to relive this one perfect segment of time. Again and again and again and again. You know? To try to figure out how to save the world or something. And Elon's like, well, the odds are well in simulation theory. <laughs> uh, pretty high, quite high. Um, what was it? The odds of us, uh, us being in a simulation are way higher than the odds of this being the first time we're going through this? Sure. But does it matter? What's the difference? The only difference I could imagine is if you think we're in a simulation and you have all the money in the world, not like Elon. Elon doesn't have any money. It's like fake money, play money. They can delete his money in a second. The people that have the money are the ones that have the, you know, Old school, old fashioned money. All this, like this internet stuff's only been around for friggin', you know, 40 years. That's like a blink of a friggin' eye. It's a very long blink. Very long blink of an eye. But, but that movie, Robin Williams, that guy falls asleep, wakes up 60 years later, 40 years, that's not even 60 years. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know what it's called. Anyways, <clears throat> uh, the electronics, they're uh, all over the place. You know, we got this big biblical kind of situation where everybody is sort of, uh, we, you know, humans follow the glittery, pretty path. Like, like I believe in, the, I have the same opinion as the people with the pretty glittery clothes. What about the ones with the dirty, rugged, sandy clothes? Ew, they're dirty. I like the sparkly. Sp <laughs> That's kind of funny. Because all the, it's like uh, everybody dresses, I guess, the same. But if you look at, uh, you know, suits and all that but if you look at musicians it is kind of funny because they all they all kind of have the same opinions if you haven't noticed that they all have the same opinions and then over time their dresses become more prettier prettier glitterier and then they become meat what is that about oh one day you're watching the awards you're like look at that beautiful oh oh, oh is that human Cannibalism is freedom. What? You agree with everything else I believe. Why not believe that one? That's a little bit too far. Just a little bit. Pull it back. Let's revisit this in six months. We got to run this through the school system first. 
Crazy. Crazy as dumb, right? Uh, yeah, I never really had any opinions. I was like, video games are cool. I don't really like shooter games as much. I hate consoles because I suck at console games. I would be good. If, if I was good, I would like them. You know? And I really loved the internet. It was so cool. And then it all starts to get censored. People are like, oh, you hurt my feelings. You're like, uh, so what? You're okay to have your feelings hurt. It's fine. No big deal. But it's violence. Uh, no, no. No one is actually hurt for it. But my brain is permanently disfigured. Ah! Maybe you shouldn't be able to use the internet then. Maybe you shouldn't have to. If you can look at something someone says. They shouldn't be able to say this because our kids might find the opinion attractive. If everybody loves an opinion, right? Then it, let's, let's say that everybody loves his opinion and it, it's the best ever. But, uh. They're not allowed to hear the other opinion that they're like, well, that one would be way better. You know, that's kind of, that's not fair. You should be able to hear both opinions. Be like, do we like, um, do we like this policy that we all force on everyone? And if you don't do it, then you're evil. Yeah, we like that one. Good, because if you don't like it, we're, you're evil. Like, oh, we're not going to be evil. But do you like this other one? Someone else is like, what about this one where I love all you guys and you can have this opinion and where and everybody's gonna be happy because it's nice and honest. Bro, oh, that's evil! He's evil! You shouldn't be allowed to say honest things. What's that about? I thought honesty was at least one of the top ten policies, if not the best. What do you think? <clears throat> not always. I mean it depends. Like if I had all the money in the world. Eh probably wouldn't want the people that I think are dangerous to me, I personally biasedly, be like, eh, I don't like these people, and it would be uh, let's say uh, murdery people you know, maybe people you can hear them like, bah, 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 like that, talk like that people talk like that, you know what I mean it's not like a race thing it's a eh, regional let's say regional but I wouldn't want to hurt them. I just want to put them over there. You guys get to go over there. You can have it. It'll be a nice, fun time over, over there. And if any of you guys have little babies, and they, uh, you know, learn, yeah, we'll bring them over here. We'll see what happens. That's what I would do if I ruled the world. You have to. You have to do something. I mean, you wouldn't want to just like be next to the people like. <laughs> Ah, 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 ah. Can he put in a different cell? Please put him in the cell. You call them cells? Apartment. Whatever. Put him in a different apartment. I like this Norm joke. He's like, when I was uh, when I was young, my, my, my father was very hateful. He's very, very hateful man. He uh he uh one day I walked up to him and I was like, hey dad, I I, I think I'm a little girl. And he was like, what's that? I, I thought you had a cock. He's like, oh, so I do. You're right. You got me there. <laughs> you got me there. I'd just tell you that to just let you know how hateful they were. It was so hateful. I mean, well, you know, they weren't all bad. You know, they fought Hitler, you know, but beat Hitler. But, uh, you know, thought being a boy had something to do with having a, having a <clears throat> wiener. Anyways. <laughs> Ugh. So true. My foot hurt so bad. I think I broke my toe yesterday. I fell on this. I fell on a boulder, smashed my knee, hit my chin a little bit. Didn't even cut it up, but bit my tongue. It's healing. Um, I, I do recommend you climb on these big mountains. It's very fun. But it is. It's like this weird. It feels like we're in this uh, struggle of good versus evil. And uh, I feel like, you know, we want to believe that good always wins, because oh, good always wins in the movies. Yeah? We haven't heard, heard the Johnny Depp verdict yet. Uh, to me, it's clear the one that's good. And then it's clear that the one of them is, mm, you could say evil, or maybe something, possessed by evil, or, uh, yeah. It's definitely not good. Honesty is one of the best policies. It's one of the top 10. The guy looks awesome. 
Look at him. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Awkward. I didn't see anything. Oh, he's coming. He's coming for me. He's going to come in. Um, <clears throat> well, I hope that you, uh, yeah, maybe don't form super strong opinions. Just to learn something from Norm. Don't form extremely strong opinions quickly. Just be slow to form them and then assume maybe if you're told something by rich people, the truth is the opposite. And the reason I tell you that is because they think you are one of the people. One of the crazies. Or they just don't like people in general, which is, you know, if you watch any movie that's come out in Hollywood, Thanos snapped and killed half of the... Did I spoil it? Thanos snap! Or Matrix, humans are a disease, a virus. Yeah, well, we're also the only virus that actually does good things. We're the only virus that makes the earth better and make each other better, make the world better. We literally figure out all of our problems that we get. As soon as we're like, we're never going to solve this this climate change, you gotta stop burning gas. Elon's like, all right, I got it. I'll stop burning the gas. What else? Anything else? Well, you know, we need to stop, you know. Well, I guess that's about it. I mean, I was gonna say uh, electricity, but well, okay, you're doing the solar panels, all right. Well, he's doing every single problem we had. What are the odds this guy would come out of the woodwork? Like a little gnome. Like a little African gnome. God dang African American. It's funny that they don't like Elon. <laughs> He's African American, that's so funny. Which side is racist, do you think? Do you think one side is racist? I think it's a, I think if you were a racist, wouldn't you want to be like, you know, you'd probably be pretty bad, probably be pretty evil. And so you'd want to collect all this power and you'd be okay with using dishonesty, being evil, don't you think? Just guessing. You'd be okay with being an evil, horrible liar and you probably would eventually get rich because that's one of those things a lot of rich people they don't do it by doing awesome things for the world like elon eh, you know and i don't know everything about him but everything he does you watch him talk for a long time he clearly loves the planet and loves all the stuff he does most billionaires just steal it from other people guys we need to put we need trillions of dollars tomorrow guys what are you gonna spend it on well just uh you know uh this stuff we need, absolutely need, to help the world. But it says here $90 million into crack pipes. What? No, not, no, not exactly. Just glass shaped in the form that looks similar to, that is racist. That's, that's what I'm getting to. If you were racist, wouldn't you use all the money in the world to say, hey, that side's, that side's the racist guys, oh, over there. They're over there. Those guys are the ones who go, hey, hey, hey. Those are the racists over there. Those are the Nazis over there. All the way over there, you see them? Ugh. Those ones that say, love everyone, like yourself, treat others like they should be treated. Uh, don't ever kill anyone. Yeah. You know what I think we should do? We should ban, I think we should make school shootings illegal. That's about it. This is my campaign, I'm running for office. Bless your face. If you sneeze during this video, bless you. Laws are probably pretty good. Laws are a good thing. And uh, religious people, if they're religious, let's say they're, they're Christian. I don't know a lot about other religions, but I know they're mostly really good. You know, it's complicated. You could read nuance into it. You could be extremist or whatever, but there's... The most extremist Christian would be the one that never kills anything at all. <laughs> Ever. Okay, I guess. I mean, all right, thou shalt not kill. What is that? It's like ancient Hebrew. It actually means thou shalt not murder. One shall not simply murder into Mordor. All right, I'm going to go get some Neosporin for my entire body. Bless your face. Outro of dark dreadness. Boop.